I'm just picking up the Dynabite to get the engine out for the next project. Well, it's an old project, but it's my brother's old CBR 600. So I'm just gonna load it up now. The CBR 600, I think it's a 1990 model, somewhere between 85 and 100 horsepower. It used to be my bike, but uh, I was always speeding on it and gonna get in trouble, so I decided to my brother, he did the same thing. It's been parked up for seven years, keys lost. So I've got a hot wire, Let's see if I can get it going. Carburetors on this side are really leaking fuel. Fuel's coming out here, I guess it's some sort of overflow, and there's also fuel coming out somewhere else. Uh, so I'll probably have to take these carbs off. All right, I've taken the carburetors off to give them a clean out. They were pretty filthy, actually. It was a wonder it was even running. But I did something totally stupid. I grabbed the main jet, and I was holding it up here in the light so I could see and blasted it with the air gun and it just shot off out of my hand and went into orbit. I've been looking for it everywhere on the ground. I can't find it. I'm so stupid, but I'll order a new one and I'll probably get maybe these, uh, these little float valves as well because I think that's what was leaking and causing the carburetors to overflow. It's a real shame because I wanted to go for a rip around the yard and do some burnouts and stuff before I pulled it down, but I'm just going to have to pull it down now. Sorry guys. Alright, we've got the motor out. The rest of the bike's just chilling back here waiting for me to take all the electrics and the rest of the parts off it, but I'll leave that there for now. And this here is what it's going in, my amphibious boat. I've got a few videos on this thing, it actually worked pretty good. Problem was it wasn't fast enough, I mean I'm sure that motor will fix that problem. But what else I have is... Jet unit. Oh yeah. It's got steering, it's got reverse bucket. It's got issues. But it was free, a subscriber gave it to me, thanks a lot. Matt, this jet unit will pretty much Marry straight up to that. Um, I've got a coupling that I can bang on there. And then from there, there will be a chain and sprocket which will go back to this drive shaft. But I'll have to be able to disengage it. So I need to make some sort of like uh, gearbox that I can disengage and also put it in reverse. I don't know how I'm going to do that. So one of the first, first things I need to do is probably pull everything out of here. And the jet unit needs some fixing too. There's a fair bit of butchery going on here. There's a bit of checker plate screwed and riveted to here. That's actually supposed to be like a cone shape coming off there. But we'll take it apart and see what's going on. So what I think's going on here 
just goes in like that and someone has just put a washer on there and welded the end to keep that in there and it snapped off it hasn't worked I found an o-ring that fits in here and I've drawn up what I think I need for the cone I might just 3d print this part yes I know PLA uh, is hydroscopic and it takes in water but there will be a grease nipple on the end and it will be the whole thing will be pumped full of grease I'll print a not low infill one first to see if it all fits and then I'll print 100% infill so it should be plenty strong enough it's only water blasting past this part so what I'll do with this piece is drill and tap the end drill and tap a bolt into the end of it but I'll probably need to use a lathe to do that so I'll do that at work tomorrow this piece here has huge big chunks taken out of it it's had rocks go through it I think cracks in it as well but it's been someone's tried to fix this piece before but it's also been painted so I have to clean all the paint off and see if I can build all these back up Turns out that crack goes quite a way down on two sides. I'm going to try and weld in the back side there as well. So I'm going to have to put the torch in behind here and try and weld with the wire on this side which is going to be really hard. Alright, I've got a horrendous weld either side of that fin now, which will make it strong again. I'll grind it off later. Now I've got to build up this with the TIG welder. Drop the welder back to about 75 amps. Alright, I've welded that off. I've started to grind down the welds, but my compressor can't keep up with this die grinder and then this Dremel doesn't really have any bits that are aggressive enough it's too slow so I'll finish this off at work I think take this fitting out it's like a half inch BSP fitting I'm just going to blank that off because I'm going to uh, run closed circuit because I need to run on land as well obviously It was heavy. 66 kilos. I wonder if I just about dislocated my back carrying it. Since it's pouring with rain, I can't really be bothered pulling everything out of here right now. Started giving the motor a bit of a clean up. This is the other idea I had for the amphibious boat. This is what I started working on. It's gonna have this big surface drive prop then a hydraulic hose was going to bend up like that to the motor and that running was going to spin that and it could bend up out of the way when you go on land problem was I ran it for a little while and this got hot really quickly so I could just see it was going to tear apart it's been a bit of time making it, here's a few clips of it Big thanks to all the people that have been buying my uh, little 3D printable jet unit off CG Trader. Really helps me buying stuff for the channel. A guy called the Eccentric Kiwi made this uh, aluminium casting of an impeller, which I machined down. Thanks a lot for that. I still don't know what I'm going to use this thing for. Really need a powerful electric motor to run that, if anybody's got one. I've got a lot of work ahead of me, I'm going to post a lot of videos on this build. I'm not just getting a kit set boat and putting a jet ski motor and unit in it, I'm doing everything the hard way and on top of that I'm making it amphibious, so it's going to be really difficult but it's going to be so awesome when I'm done. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.